two, one, go. Second match of the morning here, starting off with a yet another sandstorm. The Red Alliance started their cargo ship here in the center of the field with mostly preloaded hatch panels. All six, the easily visible sides. Those don't count for score at the end of the match, like all the other hatch panels that count for two, but they would hold in any cargo that was scored during the sandstorm period before those trays drop. Sandstorm clears and drivers take full control now. Blue Alliance quickly working on hatches, both on the cargo ship in the center field and the rocket in the bottom right. Blue Alliance rocket now has one two-point hatch panel on it. That one came from Wingus and Dingus. Port Moody Robotics is working on one of their own here on the right side of this Blue Alliance cargo ship. They just can't quite let go of it. Moving on over now to the Red Alliance side. Funky Monkeys, hatch panel of their own. It's gonna make its way to this bottom left Red Alliance rocket placed with no real drama. Red Alliance partner 7158, the conspirators are working on the cargo game. That orange cargo is worth three points apiece if scored somewhere where a hatch panel can catch it. Plenty of opportunities in the cargo ship in the center of the field for that cargo. We'll see what the Red Alliance decides to do with this. Minute 15 left to play, really close game. 16-15 split, Blue Alliance is up. Speaking of the Blue Alliance, kind of dribbling a piece of cargo here in the center field. Wingus and Dingus, they want to add three points to the Blue Alliance score. No particular drama. That was a, that was a close one there. Hatch panel almost falls off the ship. But they're able to keep it attached. The Red Alliance Funky Monkeys are starting to work on constructing this back rocket. Fourth hatch panel slowly going into place. Can they actually get the stick? It's holding on by just a thread for the time being. Oh, uh, yank it off. Cargo goes in courtesy of the Red Alliance 10 ton machine, but it knocks a hatch panel off of this back Red Alliance rocket. And that does mean they're gonna have to go back to square one on that piece of the rocket. Final 30 seconds of the match. Blue Alliance starting to pull ahead now, 26 to 18 in your live score. Rookie team contribution over here, Port Moody Robotics, adding a two point hatch panel onto the Blue Alliance cargo ship. That cargo ship mostly started with cargo in place rather than panels. We're in our final 10 seconds of the match. It's a bold move there. Blue Alliance robot stays in Red Alliance territory for quite a long time. Looks like they'll make it back off into the Blue Alliance habitat for three points there right before the match expires. Red Alliance to climbs of their own up to level one. Six points in total for Red in endgame score, and we'll get your final scores. 32 to 29, your final score. And each of those Blue Alliance teams will pick up two rank points towards the leaderboard. Qualification match number three coming up for you shortly.